can see we went to our target and even above and I, I got out at a favorable price close to 26 on our BNB and that was the last of what I had and uh, so I exited and we pulled back down to the 21 where we are close to right now which makes perfect sense I would not want to be a buyer of this until uh, much later on down the line um, so I'm kind of out of BNB completely with our target being hit and getting out above there so that was a good trade um, and I'm going to be looking for opportunities for other altcoins, you know, interesting volumes that I think uh, can provide us, like uh, BSV. That was another fantastic trade. Um, and you can see the volatility in the ranges are amazing. But I wouldn't want to touch this one until it really went much lower. But uh, anyway, let's go back to our big coin, Bitcoin. And we can see that we've pulled back here. And we have a few interesting scenarios, and I'll discuss those in the future with you. But I won't go into uh, that right now. Right now, I'll focus on where we are. And uh, you can see our target zone is all the way down in the mid to low 8,000 range. And that's going to be very key. Um, I've hedged you know, with the cells that I've had. And darn it, some of them are missing some others but anyway um, with the cells that I had um, you know we hit our targets and now we're pulling back and I would look for the possibility of a sharp spike downward of a large amount that's very possible um, statistically uh, another thing that could also happen would be a larger pattern, but I'm not going to hold out for that. That's going to be way later on down the line. I don't think we have good odds of filling the gap on the upside all the way back up to uh, the 12,000 area, or the upper 11,000, I should say, um, just under 12,000 because of the fact that um, statistically, if this occurs, this range above here, occurs then the likelihood of us testing the hives become very uh, in focus and uh, there's some things that have to occur here first that puts the odds especially short term um, for here and even down to the 7,000 range down here um, as being higher probability than us getting above here and then filling the gap all the way up there if we were to do that in the short term I would look for a very sharp pullback that goes all the way back down to here. So I'll be looking for that craziness if they're able to do it, which you never know um, what the MNIPs are planning behind the scenes. They have most of the control in this market. So, um, But probability-wise right now, we're still targeting to the downside. And, you know, um, unfortunately, I, I, that brings up the other topic, um, Cornex. Cornex, we are out of. We're no longer going to be using them. They've screwed up so many times, and they've done such a bad job, and they give these bullshit excuses, um, and they're poor programmers, and uh, they've really, you know, they've held us back, and you're absolutely right. I mean, my returns and so forth for my own trading is extremely high, and uh, unfortunately, the technology that I'm presented with is crap. And I can't get the, the high-end, you know, um, returns that I'm used to um, just trading on my own. Because I get many trades, and I can show you some examples of that, of where I, I took something of uh, 3x leverage, which is high to me, but it's not too high. 3x is in the realms of normality. Still risky, but not overly risky. For example, my uh, 3x, uh, you were... Um, Currently, some of my trades, uh, my liquidation would be around the 15,000 range, which is acceptable because we're not likely to go up to that. Um, so at 3x, that's not a terrible risk. Um, still high, um, but still, uh, you know, with that, I was able to turn uh, 0.1 Bitcoin. I think I did this because of uh, Thomas. He keeps wanting... Uh, he in in the past of which I found out he's a degenerate gambler 
and really is too young to understand how the markets work and how to trade and control his impulses. But uh, I did it, and I was able to turn 0 0.1 in since September into 0.7 so yeah, currently with the market. So, yeah, we are held back a great deal. And, um, you know, even if I was using 1x, my returns should be well, you know, north of... Uh, I mean, you've seen my trades. I, I don't have to say anything. Uh, but uh, Cornex, we're not able to really execute them correctly, and there's been too many mistakes on their part. I mean, one trade closes out all your other trades because of it was an error? Uh, no. Um, that is complete bullshit, and um, I think they do that because of nefarious reasons, such as they make money on order flow, and uh, they're using their platform that way, and I, I want nothing to do with them. Um, so... Um, with that, we're, we're not going to be using Cornex, and the people that commented are completely correct. I, I am held back by the technology. So we're going to look for a better solution, hopefully we can find it. Um, I, and we're in currently in limbo, so we'll see how that resolves itself. It'll be interesting. But anyway, outside of that, our target zone's down to the, the mid to low 8,000 range, and... Uh, We'll just wait to see what, what happens from here. Um, you can kind of see this this pattern from these points right here are what's of interest to me. should be right there, actually. Let's correct that. And, um, you know, we, we've got this rising wedge that fits the geometry. And, um, you know, so we'll look forward to get all the way back down there to that uh, mid to low. Uh, 8,000 range and that's currently where we are. Uh, I've exited the last of that um, uh, above the the target on BNB and I'll go scratch around and see what other interesting trades are out there as far as our altcoins and you know what uh, possibilities um, are and so forth for that. Um, and we'll go from there and we'll try to figure out what we're going to do uh, from this point and what everybody wants to do. And we'll see. To be continued. Um, all right. So other than that, you guys have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon.